Practice here in the islands for the 10th ranked Warrior football team is over. First the Christmas holiday and then a day off for travel. Three days off altogether before getting on the field to get ready in New Orleans for the Bulldogs. You know, I'm taking the same schedule that I've used for, for all of our bowl games. So, you know, the only little different thing here, we leave Christmas night and then we have three days off right there, you know, where we don't, we don't practice 25th, well, really 24th, 25th, 26th. And, you know, that's a little different, which we haven't done. But, you know, we still have enough time down there to get kind of back into it again. You know, we had two bye weeks, so this is something I think we're kind of used to. Um, I think we're, you know, we're, we're having a good time. We're getting things ready. and. You know, it's something I think we're really used to. You know, hey, uh, our, I'm excited to get down to New Orleans, as all the team is, and be part of uh, something that's really uh, got a chance to be something. Now the Bulldogs are also on a short break before heading to the Big Easy. Got their last practice in on Friday. They'll have four-day layoff before starting back up at the Dome. Very good. I think the guys' uh, attitudes have been good. The coaches have done a nice job of pushing them. Got some good senior leadership out there. He's been good. Just trying to get ready for Hawaii, really. Um, in condition, obviously, every day. Just trying to stay in shape and, and uh, get ready to play. Also, a lot of um, mental aspect to it, you know, just getting ready for a great opponent like Hawaii and just uh, trying to stay mentally focused and, and as well physically conditioned. Kickoff just eight days away. You can catch the Sugar Bowl right here on KHON with the broadcast beginning at 3 p.m. on New Year's Day. Kickoff will be around 3.30. And leading up to the game, KHON will air a half-hour special with reports from New Orleans as well as in-studio interviews. Special will air on December 30th at 6.30 p.m. and then a rebroadcast the day of the game at 2.30. And tonight, we continue our road to the Sugar Bowl with a look back. A Christmas Day rally is scheduled for the football team when they arrive at the Inter-Island uh, inter Terminal tomorrow at 3 p.m. Hawaiian Airlines employees will present the players with Mardi Gras beads, rally towels, and posters recognizing the team's undefeated season. The company is providing the team, coaches, staff, and family members with non-stop flight service to New Orleans. Fans are welcome to attend the rally but will not be allowed through the airport's security checkpoints. The Warriors will also be flying in style. Hawaiian Airlines is giving two of its planes custom paint jobs. The two jets will be outfitted with the Warriors H. How's it going, everybody? Undefeated Warrior football team giving the day off today. Now just one day from hitting the road, big easy bound for their New Year's Day meeting with Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. Now much like the Warriors, Bulldogs enter the game with a highly touted offense, but its defense may be the heart and soul of the squad bringing a dog pound D to the Superdome that has forced 33 turnovers and 34 sacks. A very impressive defense, one of the best in the Southeastern Conference. You know, it's not just their size, it's their speed, overall speed on, uh, you know, the D-line, the safeties, the linebackers. I mean, the linebackers can fly, so, you know, it's just not size, but they're, they're big and fast. They have players at every spot. I mean, they're linebackers and they play the coverages like they're supposed to be played, you know. I mean, they're just very well coached and they got good players. The turnovers are going to be big on both sides of the ball. And, uh, you know, I, I think we're just as physical as them. Uh, but they, they're they very athletic and uh, they're a good football team. Kickoff on New Year's Day at 3.30 Hawaii time. And don't forget, starting December 27th, live reports from the Big Easy with KITV St. Nick, Robert K. Kaula, and Dan Ebenezer Meisenzal. Taking a break as they get ready for Georgia in the Sugar Bowl. They know the Bulldogs won't be the only opponent they'll face when they get to New Orleans. The team wrapped up practices in Hawaii yesterday, getting ready to head to Louisiana. New Orleans, of course, already known as a party town. Plus, the magnitude of being in a BCS game could provide some distractions to the team. You know, we're going to look forward to get down to New Orleans and, and uh, get on a, a game day schedule. It's going to be kind of wild like a Super Bowl week with all the media attention, all the fans and everything, so we got to stay focused. I don't know what it's going to be like, but he says that it's going to be worse than anything we've ever seen. And we've seen some pretty rough stuff this, uh, this season, and it's going to be worse, like 10 times worse than that up there. So uh, it's, it's going to be something to prepare for, and uh, I just hope that no one gets distracted by that. 
Warriors scheduled to fly out tomorrow afternoon. They'll use Wednesday to catch up on the rest and then resume practice on Thursday. Still a chance for you to watch the game live. School is selling its remaining allotment of tickets to the general public. Officials say a couple hundred are left. There is a maximum of six tickets per person. Just go to the Stan Sheriff Center ticket office starting Wednesday morning and you need to bring a Hawaii ID. No phone orders are being taken. And we are gearing up to bring you Hawaii's most extensive coverage of the Warriors' greatest season. Our very own Howard Dashevsky and Jason Tang. Just one week and one day until the Warriors take on the Georgia Bulldogs, but you have just one day left to get tickets to the Sugar Bowl from the University of Hawaii. And that one day is this coming Wednesday when the t remaining tickets go on sale at the Stan Sheriff Center box office. The office will be closed for Christmas tomorrow. There are about 100 tickets left. You're limited to six per person, and you must show a valid Hawaii driver's license. The UH Hawaii uh, Warriors take off of the Sugar Bowl tomorrow. The history-making team will fly out at 5.15 in the evening, arriving in the Big Easy early Wednesday morning. And KGMB9 is New Orleans bound as well. We're sending Steve Uihara, Liz Chun, and Mike Cherry to the Superdome to bring you complete coverage of the Sugar Bowl up to the game day on New Year's Day. As much as the UH football team cherishes its perfect record, there's so much more Hawaii has gained. The Warriors now call themselves teammates, friends, even brothers. Truth be told, it's been a long time coming to develop. It, uh, the team only noticed its differences once before. The black guys hanging around with the Polynesians, the Holly guys, you know, everybody's just one. There's nobody, you'll never find any clicks. And uh, just like, take for instance, Thanksgiving, man, everybody made sure somebody had a place to go. And uh, we made sure that we took care of each other. But these seniors say it wasn't that way in 2005. There used to be groups. The Warriors were separated by race and class, even location, from mainlanders to islanders. It was like seniors and freshmen. You know, it was a lot of lines that were drawn that you, most people wouldn't see, but they were there. You know, but I, I think they all have been, you know, pretty much put aside. As we now know, acceptance has led to accomplishment, with Hawaii headed to its first ever BCS Bowl game. Overall, the playing field has become quite a melting pot for the Warriors. We have a lot of different cultures, races, and everything. And, uh, I think we're, we're the most diverse team around in the U.S., and uh, we're just happy for that. And it's, it's fun to learn everybody's culture and uh, everybody speaking different languages around there. The Ha'a is a good example of that. The Warriors were taught the meaning behind the Hawaiian chant far before they learned the dance. And with nearly 70% of the team from Polynesia, it's clear which language courses are most popular with the players. Oh yeah, my little soy four, talofa, second some more, so I'm trying to learn. Coming to Hawaii from Seattle has been a real learning experience for Adam Leonard, and it's not limited to just the classroom. It's a cultural shock when you come down here and see how they live and how much love they have for one another, where it's, it's really a close state. This time tomorrow, the Warriors will be in New Orleans, and Steve Wuhara, Mike Cherry, and myself will be en route to get there as well. Be sure to tune in for live reports leading up to the Sugar Bowl.